then the next classification of loop is exit control loop so in this exit control loop the condition will be checked at the exit point okay first the loop will get executed for one time after the execution of the loop the condition will be checked and based on the condition again the loop will get executed repeatedly so this is just similar to our while loop that is what uh, the first the category under this exit control loop is do while and this do while is similar to the while loop which we have seen in the previous class and uh, the difference between while and do while is as specified in while loop first it will check for condition if the condition is true then the loop gets executed if the condition is false the loop gets terminated right but in do while the body of the loop gets executed at least one time before checking the condition so after executing the body of the loop the condition will be checked here again based on the result of the condition whether uh, the loop will get executed or the loop will get terminated that is if the condition is true then the loop will get executed obviously and if the condition becomes false then the loop will get terminated this is the difference between while and do while and this is the syntax for do while so it should start with the keyword do and after this do we have the body of the loop okay so here we can have the statements inside this do and after this body of the loop we have a condition here which is written inside the while that is why it is called as do while okay in while we have test condition after executing this loop for one time then it will come to check for this condition if this condition is true again the body of the loop gets executed if it is false so this will not get executed once again right so this is what do while syntax is and how this do while well syntax uh, executes the steps involved here is first the body of the loop gets executed one time after that the test condition is evaluated the test condition is true means it executes the body of the loop once again otherwise if it is false it terminates the loop then if it is true it executes the body of the loop after executing this body of the loop again it will check for this test condition now again based on the test condition the loop will get either executed or terminated this is the flowchart for do while so in do while initially the body of the loop get executed once after executing the body of the loop then it will move to condition checking if the condition is true again it executes the body of the loop then again the control moves to while condition if the condition is false then the loop gets terminated right and this is the example so in this example starting with header file then we have main function and inside this main function the first statement is initialize statement initialization statement so where we are initializing the value of i to 1 after that we have do so inside this do do we have this block of statement do block of statement so first this statement will execute her. after executing the statement it comes to checking condition now value of i is initialized to 1 so inside this do we have a printf statement which prints value of i so what is the initial value of i that is 1 which will get printed after this value i value is getting incremented so now the i value is incremented to 2 right now coming to condition i value becomes 2 now so we are checking whether 2 is less than or equal to 5 so this is true if it is true again it executes the statement so it prints the value 2 then the value gets incremented to 3 now we are checking 3 with 5 which is true again so again it will move to this printf statement and now the value of i is 3 that is getting printed as output after printing this output now the value becomes i value becomes 4 right after this in increment statement the value becomes 4 now 4 is compared with 5 which is true so the value of i gets printed as 4 again then we are going for this increment statement which increments the value of i to 5 now the condition is checked whether 5 is less than or equal to 5 yes it is true so it will print the value of i as 5 now the value is again incremented to 6 right the, now the value of i is 6 and then you are checking the condition whether 6 is less than or equal to 5 which is false here so if it is false this will terminate the loop execution so your 
program gets executed successfully now the output we obtained here is 1 2 3 4 5 here also in this do statement i'm giving this increment here if i don't give increment again this loop will get executed for infinite number of times okay because always the i value remains 1 if you are not changing the value of i here always it remains 1 and every time it checks the condition and the condition becomes false sorry uh, true and when the condition is true every time it executes this loop for infinite number of times and this is about the do while statement and when we want to go for this do while uh, that is when we can go for this do while statement is so when we want to execute the block of statement irrespective of condition okay whether the condition is false or true but we need some statements to be executed at least once if that is the case then we can go for this do while statement and the real time example uh, we can give here is uh, like uh, going for a hotel okay when you're going for some hotel and you're going to order some food okay so for ordering that food you'll be having some menu card so from that menu card uh, you have some uh, options to choose a food and if you're choosing a food for choosing that food at least you need that menu card okay so uh, i mean irrespective of the condition there first we need a menu card and based on the menu card only we are going to choose for a food so that can be taken as a real-time example for this do while statement 